This is a Lego caboose from 2001. In today's video, I'm going to review it, show you 360s, and tell you what I mean when I say, will Lego ever do this again? Right off the bat, we have a 360 of this caboose here. It was actually featured in two sets, so as itself, and then in this deluxe train set. Overall, I think it is a beautiful build. I am very happy I have one. It is from 2001. It is set number 10014. I'll show you the box in a moment, but just admire some of this beauty here. I have really always enjoyed this build and I'm debating if I should recreate it in blue for the blue passenger train I have. Time will tell. Overall though, great build, wonderful designs. The windows are very nice and I love the top feature of this caboose, how it's quite large and there's a ladder to access the roof there. If you saw my winter train review from 2006, there wasn't anything in that caboose, but in this one there is. We have a chair, a small table, and a little fireplace. The fireplace I think is cool because the smokestack or chimney goes right to the top and they have the creative piece here on the top to show that the chimney comes out the roof. Next, I'm going to show you the box. And finally, what I meant by the title was, will Lego ever actually recreate sets like this where they sell individual train cars? I don't think they will. I really wish they would because I think this was an amazing series where they sold individual cars so you can honestly create your own train, your own locomotive in the colors you desired. I think it was a great series. I'm a huge train guy, so obviously I would love it, but I don't think they'll do it again. I don't think they would want to market it and sell different train cars. I think they enjoy selling one set. Maybe it's something to do with cost or just the market, how it responds. You know, maybe they sold... 10 tanker cars for every two cabooses they sold so they didn't like all the effort that went into the background behind this of designing and creating these sets to sell so many more of one car than another. That's what I think about that. If you agree with me, great. If you disagree or have any comments or know if they may create sets again like this, please let me know in the comments. I'll get back to you. Here are the Lego instructions if you needed them. Most Lego instructions can be found on lego.com. I'll leave a link in the description if you didn't know about it. In last week's video, I showed the holiday train from 2006. When I built this caboose, I really enjoyed it, and it got me thinking, you know, how close is it to the caboose in today's video? I was shocked when I put them side by side how similar they were. They have very similar build structures, you know, slightly different things, as you can see here, the roof, and maybe a few of the windows and where things are placed. But overall, they are just about the same size, same height, and, you know, again, different siding here, different colors, but very similar design i would say the major differences here are the windows the doors and the interior so the holiday train has two doors the red caboose only has one the red caboose has an interior the holiday train does not and then as you can see the colors are different and the holiday train has larger windows on the sides and fewer windows on the top great cabooses i really like these and wonder if lego will ever recreate one like this please subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video thank you for watching Lego, my James-o.